Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nark. Welcome along to part 6 of our Portal 2 playthrough. Wheatley has just taken charge. We are falling down to the depths of old Aperture right now. Clap really does not sound like a clap. I maybe could, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. The wooden debris that I've just crashed through will break your fall, potatoes. It's all good. Alrighty then. Into old aperture we go. So now we get to play around with the gels. Gels are always fun. Bird pecking potato. Because if I was like a guy who couldn't, if I was somebody who couldn't hear, I would know what that sounded like, right? Okay. I think we gotta go and like open the vault door, right? That seems to ring a bell. That seems to ring a bell indeed. This way, I guess. Music's quite epic. I like the music. Which again isn't something I necessarily took into consideration and listened to too much in the original playthrough I did. So this always like you considering like we're so far under the, under the ground, kind of makes me like really it's kind of weird a bit that, um, that you have like all this like grand entrance and stuff to Aperture. But then I suppose Mel did it. Mel did a good job of like with like the massive elevator and stuff that you used to get that you went down. So yeah, I guess it's probably like the same sort of thing here. Although the whole of this area does seem like it's been sealed off. Alright, so... Same sort of puzzles as Mel as well. In as much as that button at the same time. Opens the big hatch door. Let's admire it in all its beauty. Why anybody would build such a big, oversized door is beyond me. But, uh, hey, what do I know? What do I know? I really didn't want anybody to, like, get into here, I suppose being so far down and putting such a big door over the front of it. But nobody expected the moron to be in charge. Right? The whole place like crumbling from above. It's really weird, like, how I, how much you remember. I 
said that so many times. I do apologize for saying the same thing over and over again in this playthrough. Genuinely, I do. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable There's organization of your choice. Every day here in our Western spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteer to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. <laughs> an army of mantis men. Right now, I think we drop down the elevator shaft, don't we? Yeah, that's what we do. Woohoo! Into Pumping Station Alpha, which will give us the first gel we get to play with. Which, of course, is our blue gel. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Finally, we had to like start riding elevators up rather than down, which is quite nice. Which is really quite nice, indeed. Because, you know, we're, the whole point of this is we're trying to escape. So the fact that we keep like, getting pushed further and further down the facility isn't particularly great. Uh, that light's bright. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion, repulsion gel. gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. All right. Now, these are just like a number of like bouncing ones. Yep. Lab boys just informed me there that I should we not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. <laughs> I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and worked oh, you we took care of that too. Thanks, Aperture. Oh, come on! Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm rushing. All right, we'll wait this time. Let's wait, knock this time, please. There we go. Maybe this time we can actually get the cube. Huzzah! All right. Put it up here. Woohoo! I love the element of danger there, the fact that you can actually just drop to your death. Any other time, I'm sure I would probably, you know, do that, but not today, folks. Not today. Pretty quite good. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this. It's a lively one, and it, it does, does not, does not like, like the human skeleton. skeleton. It's bad, though, when you can, like, recite the voice lines. I think that does mean you have played far too much Paul 
in your time. For sure. And I can't remember how many of like all these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a short of just like, breath, oh. a persistent dry cough, or your heart stops. Is it just like That's one of like the test per gel Good type? I can't remember. Say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the couple. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. All right, so. Put it behind the fizzler. Woohoo! Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and I just think like if he was like a member like in the like an aperture science tester How worried would you be seriously they're like Olympians astronauts you know these like physically fit people at the peak of their professions and their their um their lifestyle and they come here and like you're hearing messages like that I'd be very very worried Sot the uh, sixty dollars, fifty dollars, whatever it was. Control it was group 60. Kepler seven. We implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely, you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know, because that means it's about to hit five hundred degrees. So we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Woo! That was pretty easy. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Okay. Oh, and I remember this one. is mad. How much of this you remember? Even though you was convinced you didn't remember anything. Taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize... Now I know that there's an achievement for this one. Um, to basically do what I just did. That would have got me the achievement right there. Yeah, the achievement is to um, basically catch the box without it touching the floor. That's the achievement. I think I like this. This is my like favorite Cave Johnson. I think. Although the 70s Cave Johnson isn't too bad as well. The 80s one where he's like starting to get ill is probably like my least favorite. It's just like, um, you know, mad at the world for like what's happening to him uh, in the dialogue. So I don't really remember too much of 80s Cave, if I'm completely the honest. The fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, Thank you for your participation, and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff in the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. She is a gem. Apparently. 
All right. Let's whack these on. Huzzah! Now, I think this is where we get um, GLaDOS back, right? If I remember rightly. We fly through here. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture oh, come on. Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you most likely use one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing... Right. Now you might be asking yourself... Oh, hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you... Oh, thanks. I am not in, I am not going to be doing that. Don't worry. Yeah, sure. Go and do some scheming. Where are we? How long have I been out? An extra half volt Not long. Helps, but it isn't going to Not long, guys. If I think too hard, I'm going to fry. So we should here have um, um, some tests with both gels, I think. Not just orange gel. But not until we call this episode a day. And we move on to the next guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any comments or discussions for this video, please leave them down below. I'll be happy to discuss any parts of anything I've said or any part of the story with you guys. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.